Hello, good morning. It's Thursday the 14th. I'm FX Blue and this is the Market Brief. So UK inflation continues to move higher. Um, according to the official data, that headline hit 7% in March, beating forecasts for 6.7%. Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan have been on. Their analysts believe inflation is on track to top out at 9%, either this month or next month. Um, although, of course, we can expect another spike when the energy cap is adjusted once again in October. More concerning is that the UK economy is showing signs of a slowdown. Uh, this suggests that stagflation is a genuine threat now. That's where the economy struggles with high or rising inflation coupled with low or negative growth. And according to my Economics 101 textbook from uni, it's a nightmare to deal with. So, the MPC face a rather impossible choice. Do they hike rates more aggressively to stave off inflation, which will slow output and activity even further? Or do they pause the rate hikes to support growth and risk inflation running over the 10% mark? We'll find out on May the 5th when they're also uh, going to release the latest monetary policy report. Uh, I think we can expect them to raise the guidance uh, from the last time around where they predicted inflation would top out around 8%. Uh, yesterday, sterling climbed back over the 131 mark against the dollar. We opened around 131.45 uh, and we were up around 120.40 against the euro this morning. Uh, now, over in the US, tackling rising inflation remains the most pressing issue for the Fed. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, however, Powell will probably uh, begin to face growing political pressure over uh, interest rates and their effect on the economy as we approach the midterm elections in November. Uh, poor economic performance is a political hot potato and the Democrats will not want to shoulder the blame for um, a decline in growth, especially when it's coupled with rising prices. Uh, the current outlook suggests that activity will remain uh, robust, but interest rates may very well double in the, uh, the next three to six months. So the outlook may be very different by the time November really comes into view. Uh, in the market, the prospect of a long weekend seemed to cool any interest in pushing uh, the dollar index further over that 100 level. Uh, we slipped to 99.80. Uh, we can probably expect market activity to fizzle out a, a little more ahead of the weekend. Uh, Euro dollar opens this morning around 109.15 though. Right, I've got a dash for my train. Wish me luck. Join me again tomorrow. All the best. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.